In other news tonight, millions are in jeopardy of losing their eligibility for overtime pay. A judge halted a federal rule set to take effect next month. News Jacqueline Quinn shows us how the judge's action is frustrating for employees and their employers. The countdown for a new overtime law has hit a pause. A federal judge has halted it from going into effect next month. As the law was planned to go into effect, accounting firms had been busy working with employers to get ready. And so we were talking them through some of the things. Currently, salaried workers earning above $23,000 a year do not have to get paid overtime. The new law would have moved that threshold to $47,000 a year. Those employees would also have to be moved to an hourly system. Lawrence and Lawrence, an accounting firm, did the math on a salary of $36,000 a year. That's converted to $17.31 an hour. But not all jobs have set hours. I mean, they, they were really concerned that, okay, I was paying this person this much. Now if they work this, these same hours, I've now got to pay them even more if I stay with the same rate versus reducing their rate and concerned with losing them. Some circumstances that it's actually going to decrease some of the hourly rates because the employees will work in 50-hour weeks. Now this time we take the same salary and instead of using a 40-hour work week for the year, we adjust it using a 42-hour work week. That's 2,200 hours a year. If the employer accounts for overtime, the rate could go down to $16.36 an hour. That's a huge increase for these um, employees employers to have to absorb either going over time or bringing these people up to that level. Some employers plan on making the changes anyway. I really believe they're going to make a change to it. I think they're going to, they probably will increase it, but not to the substantial increase that they have done. But for now, nothing has to change December 1st. In Mobile, Jacqueline Quinn, News 5. The Obama administration enacted the law. Senator Richard Shelby and many other conservative leaders are praising the judge's decision to stop it, calling it a victory against government overreach.